god, it's so spicy. That is so beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> I think I've cooked my lid. You can pre-order my first ever poetry book now. Link is in the description. Guys, big news in the Taz household. It's finally happened. I have been cooking a lot lately. The wildest part is I've actually been enjoying it. I've been enjoying the cooking process, not just the eating part. I don't know what's happened, but one day it all just sort of like clicked. I don't know if I'm evolving into a functional adult now. I think what happened is I got so sick of ordering takeout and so sick of oven food that I had no other choice than to cook for myself. I think my body was just in desperate need of freshly cooked food. I was like, sod it, I'll do it myself. And I have been. And it's actually, I think I'm improving. So I thought, whilst I have this enthusiasm, let me cling on to it. And I was like, you know what? I think I want to try and cook recipes from around the world. So that's what I'm gonna do this week. And hopefully they turn out good. I love how the things that I've chosen, I've not even tried before. So the first time I will try these recipes is when I've cooked it myself. So I don't even know if they're gonna taste like how they're meant to taste, but I'm feeling confident. I don't know where this confidence has come from. I don't know who she is. I'm gonna run with it. This confidence doesn't come along very often with me. So whilst I'm here, I'm gonna relish in it. I've got my chef hat on. Today I'm gonna go and shop and find all these ingredients and then we're gonna cook a bunch of recipes. Hello, is this thing on? Thank you to Google Fix 5 for sponsoring this portion of the video. Google Fix 5 lasts all day, helps keep your data safe, takes studio quality pictures and has high quality features all at the half a price of £599. Today I am gonna be making jollof rice which I have, I don't think I've even eaten before. If you know me, you know my favorite food is rice. In any combo. If it's got rice in it, there's a high chance I'm gonna like it. So I'm gonna Google a jollof rice recipe and then I'm gonna just try and make it. I've always wanted to try this, so I'm just excited to finally make it. All right, let's do this. Jollof rice is basically rice that's bright red and that's what drew me into it because I like spicy things and I like rice. So it was kind of a no-brainer to do this as a recipe. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is make the paste, like the red paste, but I don't think, but I have a feeling my blender's too small, so I don't know how we're gonna do this. You need tomatoes, red peppers. Oh my God, there's no way I'm gonna fit all this in. I'm gonna have to do this like five times. Onions. So you're supposed to use two scotch bonnets, but I couldn't find them. So I've gone and just messed my counter. You love that. And at the end of the day, it's all about adding spice. So listen, chili gets a job done. Oh, this is not gonna go out. I need to buy a bigger blender. And then you just need to add a bit of water to help it blend. Okay, I already messed up. Maybe I added a little too much water. It's supposed to be a paste and mine looks like a smoothie. Good job though, I got 10 takes of this. So I'm just hoping one of them goes right. Oh, it's spicy. It smells good though. So this is my paste. Ooh, okay, now it's starting to look red. Oh, and it smells really good. I can literally feel my stomach opening up. I don't know what it is about the color red in food, but it instantly makes me like it 10 times more. I haven't even tasted it yet. I have no idea what this tastes like, but I'm just seeing red and I'm getting excited. This is looking good. I'm so excited. I really hope this isn't a disappointment. Now it just looks like I'm making soup. Good soup. Yeah, I definitely need to season this thing. Daddy, if you only let me creep into your prison cell. Ooh. You know what? It's amazing what the power of seasoning can do. I want you to stay true to what's right for you. No matter who or when or what will others say. Just find your way. I'm so chuffed with how this turned out. Like, I, I don't know what I was expected to be honest, but I think it turned out really good. Like, I think that looks 
looks really good. Mmm. Not bad. No idea if this is what it's supposed to taste like, because I've never tried it before. But, whatever I'm eating, is really good. I actually really like using the Pixel 5 to vlog. Like I vlog on my second channel with the Pixel 5 all the time and I've never run out of battery. Like if you use Extreme Battery Saver, your battery can last up to 48 hours, which is insane. Especially for someone like me who uses my phone and the camera and to take pictures all the time. Oh, I forgot to take pictures. Did you even make jollof rice if you didn't take a picture of it? I feel like a proud mum taking a picture of my food, but I don't cook that much, so when I make something and it actually turns out good, I'm very excited about it. You can buy Google Pixel 5 on Google Store. Link to find out more will be in the description box. Thank you to Google for sponsoring this portion of the video. Okay, on to recipe two. Let's go. Today, I want to make adobo chicken, which is a Filipino recipe. Filipino food came out of nowhere. I literally never heard it growing up. Like, no one really mentioned Filipino food. I also didn't know many Filipino people growing up. I don't think I've ever met a Filipino person. I actually don't think I've ever met a Filipino person. But lately I feel like it's very on trend and like everyone seems to be talking about it more. And there's this chicken recipe that's really popular called adobo chicken. Again, I have never tried it, so this will be the first time I will try it. And I don't know if this is an accurate first try, but Listen, if you follow a recipe, it should be fine, right? So, I try to go as authentic as possible and I picked up Filipino ingredients. So this is Filipino soy sauce and this is Filipino cane vinegar, I think. First thing you gotta do is marinate the chicken. Quarter cup of soy, third a cup of the vinegar. Filipino vinegar. It smells like paint stripper. <laughs> and then you just put your chicken thighs in to marinate. And then we just leave this for a few hours. I just cried so much cutting these onions. I don't know if these are just extra intense, but I just bawled, like it was painful. So if I look like I've just cried, I have. I marinated this, oh, this heavy. <laughs> wow, I'm really weak. But I have marinated the chicken for a good few hours now. Now I'm gonna fry it. And basically I'm just browning it for now and I'm gonna cook it properly later. Oh, it still smells so much of vinegar, which isn't a taste that I'm quite fond of. I think traditionally when you make Filipino adobo chicken, you don't put onions in it. But because this smells quite intense to me, the recipe that I'm following did put onions in it to make the taste not as strong. So it's not as intense and acidic. So I was like, you know what? This is my first time trying it. Let's start with baby steps. So I am gonna put onions in it. Now that I burnt my onions to a crisp, which is not what you're supposed to do, I can put the chicken back in. I forgot the bay leaf, so we're chucking that in there too. Whoa, that actually looks so cool. Have no idea what it tastes like, but I'm very impressed by how it looks. Also, look at the state. This was a clean cooker, but now it's a mess again. So now I have to leave it to simmer and cover it. Now this lid does not fit for this pan, but it's the only option I have. So we're gonna go with it. Guys, I think I've cooked my lid. Forget the chicken, it's the lid that's been glazed. This is gonna be lovely to clean later. Da -da 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 -da. Damn, I don't know if that's burnt or that's how it's supposed to look, but <laughs> lid is hot, but that looks really good. So here's the chicken adobo. It looks so good. Finally, I'm gonna taste it. I feel like I've been waiting all day for this moment. This is what it looks like with jasmine rice and then some salad in the back. Smell of the soy sauce and the vinegar was so strong that I was really nervous about it. And I thought it was just gonna taste really vinegary. It doesn't even taste vinegary at all. Oh, that is so good. Oh, okay, now I get what they were talking about in the videos. Cause they kept saying words like, oh, it's so rich and it's tangy and zesty, but it's so flavorful. And I was like, these are too many adjectives and I don't know what's going on. But actually, I get it. It's actually really good. Again, I don't know if this is how it's supposed to taste, but whatever I'm tasting is really good. Chicken adobo has been a massive success. I would give this a nine out of 10. Hello, welcome to Taz's Baking Show. Make sure you have adults, kids. Have a responsible adult. And we're alive. Oh, the battery's gonna die. Great. Okay, we're back. Oh, I forgot that it's hot water. Wow, this brain. 
it, it's wild. First step, don't burn yourself. So now I am gonna make my favorite dessert, which is tiramisu. I am even surprised that tiramisu is my favorite dessert because it's got coffee in it. But the first time I tried it was when my niece made it. The way she made it was really good. And honestly, it's the best tiramisu I've ever had. Um, oh, oh, oh my God. I actually have the worst memory ever. Wow, sometimes I even surprise myself with my own memory. I'm actually dumb. Basically, use um, the amount that you prefer. So obviously, I'm not a massive coffee drinker. Actually, I'm not a coffee drinker at all. So I'm not going to use a crazy amount. People who drink coffee always just talk about coffee. Like it's the number one best thing they've ever had in their life. And that's why I don't get it. Because when I taste it, I feel like, are we tasting the same thing? Now you're going to put this on the complete other side of the room because... You don't want to dip your fingers again. Yeah. Now I'm going to make the cream and you need sugar that much. So I'm separating the egg here. This is the cheese and I put the whole thing in. You know what's crazy? I don't like cheese and I don't like coffee, yet I like tiramisu. Can someone please explain that to me? Because I can't. Vanilla extract. I'm guessing this is what makes me not taste the cheese as much. This is what it looks like. looks good wow that is so beautiful isn't it now you put this tiramisu in the fridge for like two hours to set there's enough tiramisu to go around to everyone it has set now whoa oh it's a, it's a thick one huh oh yeah i'm literally like an excited child right now and we are ending with the tiramisu it's actually a lot easier to make than i thought I think it looks more intimidating than it is, but I'd give this a 9 out of 10 too. This is such a great way to end this video. You know what? This video has gone so much better than I thought it would. Like, all the recipes have been a success. Let's just say I've come a long way from burning porridge and eating chicken nuggets with plain spaghetti. Definitely try jollof rice, chicken adobo, and tiramisu if you haven't already. And, um, yeah, I'm chuffed. Thank you so much for watching me cook different recipes for the first time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you lots. Please know that you matter and I shall see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.